With an SCTV with Chris Agata followed today's dramatic 4-3 win against Slavtown in the National League. So, Thaggy, your thoughts on that one? Um, I think I've aged about 15 years in the past six months. Um, yeah, just just crazy. The game had a bit of everything, to be honest. Um, we continued on in terms of um, some of our play from Tuesday night. I thought we were very good, even getting a goal down. Um, we... we we are in a good place with aggressive front foot, play some great football, um, create so many chances even before we got the equaliser and then obviously to get the equaliser and go 2-1 up was great. Um, and then after half time I thought we were similar to Tommy Angels, I thought there was a period after half time where we went 4-1 where we were outstanding, um, some of the, the best football I've had the privilege to watch so the players deserve a huge amount of credit for that. It was, uh, yeah, it was brilliant. And then um, we thought we'd make it interesting. Didn't we? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, before we get into the positives, I guess it's good to touch on the frustration of yeah. this afternoon that it wasn't more than, well, it could have been 4, 5, 6, 1. Yeah. And you've, um, I guess, gone on and, and kicked on from that mm. positive position. Yeah, we, um, we just need to be a bit more mature, look after the basics, potentially be a little bit cuter as well. Um, because when we go 4-1 whether or not we're talking on the pitch to say look let's get through the next five minutes make sure we don't give them another foothold in the game and then if we we can do that then we can probably go and make this five or six but happened against Tunbridge Um, obviously happened today so just sort of give them a bit of a helping hand um, and made the last 20 minutes interesting Frustrations aside, though, another fantastic performance on the whole. Um, so many pleasing aspects, yeah. and feels like the team is improving game by game. Yeah, we just said that. Like we, um, we, we, we're motoring a little bit now. We're starting to see um, <clears throat> some really, really good football. Um, I think individuals are playing really well within it. Um, so, like Sam Beard coming back today, um, I'm delighted with that decision um, because. We felt that they would play forwards quickly and they'd be aggressive and they'd be a real threat um, with their athleticism and you know they can go back to front and put you under the pump. So we went with the back three we did to try and negate that and I thought Beardy was superb um, on his return. I think Jack Spong is just playing as well as what he has done. I think he was very good against Torquay um, along with Kano and a number of others on Tuesday night. But I thought he was very, very good today. Um, so yeah, Obviously Cashman got another two goals, um, should have got more, but uh, Mo got another one, do you know what I mean? Like we, we, you know, there's lots of really, really good individual performances and I just feel like as a team though, we're, we're, um, we're looking a little bit slicker, uh, more on the same page, but I'm not overly surprised because it's probably the first time we've had a semi-settled team and obviously the longer we work together, touch wood, we can... Um, keep building those relationships on the pitch which are then results in some of the football that we've managed to play today. Picking out those individual performances, I'm going to pick Jack Spong and Danny Cashman, they seem yeah. to just run the show today, especially in that first half and I guess it's exactly what you want him from them, to be in your creative outlets. Yeah, yeah, yeah they, were, they, were, they were excellent. The um, thing I was pleased with is um, how often we got the ball to them. I know it sounds really obvious but when you've got players in that headspace where they clearly were very very good but can we get the ball to them as much as possible in the best attacking situations possible so I think Kane, Glenn, the lads along the back line, Hagee were very good at recognising opportunities to get the ball into them quickly and then they went and done what they'd done uh, and you just see the relationship with Mo building as well those three um, some excellent sort of attacking combinations and link play and Brilliantly supported by Joel and, and Nicky in wide areas as well. I think Nicky's been playing very, very, very well. Um, Joel, since he's come back into the side, has been excellent. So, yeah, from a, an attacking perspective, we're, we're um, producing some really positive stuff. Yeah, just touching on my foul, obviously, uh, sent off today. Do you know if that means he's suspended for the FA Cup game? No idea. I didn't even know he had second booking. Really? I just saw him walking off. I thought the game wasn't that bad. <laughs> <laughs> so <Sort of> walking off. <laughs> and I said to the said to the bench, is he, where's he going? <laughs> They're like, that's ah, second book, I didn't even see the first one, so no idea. But I, most playing really well, sat 
six in nine, um, which is great. He's getting up to speed, you can see, as I said, he's building good relationships with Cash Spongy, but it's just an opportunity for someone else, like uh, brought on Tommy Willard today, and I keep reiterating it, Tommy's been incredibly unlucky to come out of the side. It was a, to be honest, it was a flip of a coin between him and another player. And when we've made that change, obviously we've we've won and we've played well. So um, Tommy's having to be patient, um, which I'm, because I'm desperate to get him on the pitch. But the balance of the team looks right at the minute, and you're sort of waiting for something like today, where somebody gets suspended or injured, where you go right, we can get Tommy back into the side, which is what we want to do. So and you know Mo coming off today, Tommy come on and was was Tommy. So. Yeah, real handful. So we've got lots of options, and uh, you know, we're certainly not going to moan about injuries and stuff like that. That's the point of the squad. And looking ahead, then um, before the FA Cup game, we've got a midweek trip to Bath. Another long local travel one. Yeah. <laughs> another local, local one. one. Yeah. Local, yeah. yeah. Um, just your thoughts ahead of that. Do we get unsociable pay getting in the, <laughs> in the morning? Honestly, I've never known anything like it. Um, yeah, the, 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 the travel is is difficult um, but I, I like Saturday Tuesday because you can build a bit of momentum and it's our game in hand so I think if we win that we go further forward so we're now um, joint points with teams in the playoffs so yeah I think we're ticking on quite nicely um, and like I keep saying there's a lot more to come I mean but Alfie Young hasn't played today obviously through um, team selection and, and Alf has been Brilliant for us on Tuesday. I mean, talk you superb. So we've got we've got we've got a squad that's really capable of going Saturday, Tuesday. So yeah, the the travelling's a pain. But, um, equally, it just gives us an opportunity to keep building the momentum, which we looks like we've got at the minute. Congratulations to that. Cheers, chat. Thank you.